In the wild jungle, there was a DRZ and a yummy. Coming soon. All right, guys, we are back out here, uh, out at Travis's land, and we are fixing the rest of the tree sand, right, DRZ? That's right. And then we are going to actually check to see if we got any deer on the trail cam. Last time we were here, we didn't get anything. However, like I told you guys last time, if I have any deer on this camera, I'm going to post the photos uh, when we get down here. So we'll, we'll walk down here and I'll show you guys the setup again if you haven't seen it. I'll also show you the tree stand because I didn't record last time, right? No. no, I didn't record. So I'll show you where we have it set up right now. But I'm actually, we're actually going to move it and then uh, you guys will get to see what it looks like. But um, and when we get down here, if there is any pictures of any of them deer, I'll give you guys a... Uh, some pictures right on the uh, on the on the overlay of this video. It's probably a nice crisp. I was it 35 maybe? You know what? Actually, let's let's check. Hey, you check. He's, he's gonna get this. The high today was like 39. I know for you guys that live in like Wisconsin, it's 40. nothing. 41. This ain't 41. What's it feel like? <laughs> I don't care. They lying. There we go. Okay, so Ona is 38, but it feels like currently 33. So it is a. Uh, it was kind of cold outside today, uh, and we're freezing. My, well, I'm freezing. My hands are already bitter cold, and we just got out of the truck. So uh, we'll see if uh, we got any deer, folks. So if you guys look gander your eyes up there, that's where the tree stand is currently. We're actually going to be moving it over to here. Um, and here's my trail cam. Uh, that has like a deep imprint in it. That could that could just be from something else, but that's like I mean that's a deep imprint. This one hasn't really gotten touched, but uh, corn's out there, but I don't know. Well, uh, we're gonna check this now, and if I did get anything, this camera does look moved. I don't remember leaving it like that, because that's kind of on the branch, but um, I'll check it, and if I, get any, if I get any pictures, I'm gonna put it up right here. There's no pictures, but good news, we figure out what was wrong. This camera is way too high, and when you check the picture of when I came up here, and it's like shooting all the way over the bank. It can't even see where I'm standing right now, uh, even though it looks like it can. So we're gonna move it like really low, kind of like down to that uh, little branch that's coming up. And I guess we'll try it again something next week. But something's definitely been eating this. There's literally there's a very distinguished hole um, that could definitely be like a like a, a deer's nose uh, and mouth. So. We're gonna move it down to probably about right here or something like that. So it's actually taking pictures of this area, not like all the way on the ridge. So while exploring out here, we found some great things. Not one, not two, but three fresh deer poop clumps. And this is buck poop. Uh, DRZ explained to me that if the deer poop is clumpy together like this, then that indicates it's a buck. If it's just laying in a pile like the first pile I showed you, it's a doe. That is great news. So that means that Jerry has probably been roaming around here. Um, I have a clear bite marks in the sugar beet. I need to lower my camera so we can maybe pick him up uh, at some point. But we have the blind done and it looks amazing. I'm going to turn around and you'll see DRC climbing down from it right now. There it is. It sits all the way over there. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys. I'm going to show you guys up in it. But check that out. Look at it. Look at it. It's so awesome. So that's the bottom part right now is unzipped. That's where you get in at. And that's where I'll be sitting at. That's where Jerry was at last time. And that's where my blind was originally. So we're gonna be picking that up, leaving the camera there. But DRZ, I love your face. We did this, this is, looks amazing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys up in it so you guys can kind of get an idea of it. But uh, ladder secure, it was kind of sketchy at first because there's kind of a cliff side there, but ladder secure with the ladder secure thingy. Don't know what it's called. Uh, and I'm one-handing this, so please throw me some slack. Once you're in it, here's the little zipper thing. Let me try to get that overlap in there. There we go. So that's the zipper thing. So you're in it and you close it basically like so. It, this is really hard to do with one hand. In here like this, this is the platform. You can kind of look out. My camera does not have a wide enough lens to show you guys like the window. So I'm gonna kind of go around like this. This is all I can really show you because my camera isn't wide enough. If I have my GoPro, you'd be able to see it. But that's kind of how it looks like in the front. I can show you the side one. So I can sit here, it's a bench seat. It goes down like this. There's a cushion over there we have to get. Cushion goes right there. There's a little backrest there uh, and everything's just kind of secured up in this thing. And I can sit here and I'll show you guys where I sit. You can see our DRZ is kind of get an idea how high up we are. 
uh, and then there's my blind over there. So sitting here, I can see where Jerry was and I can also see my whole entire field. Uh, and then under this thing, this thing comes inside like it is right here. This is a shooting bar, so I can actually like rest on this bar uh, when I go to shoot, so something like that. It's pretty exciting. Uh, this is also a really good idea to, or a good thing to vlog. I, I'll be able to vlog in this too, because uh, like I said, won't be moving a lot, but I'll probably put this one maybe halfway up, kind of about right there, so I can just see over, but it doesn't, uh, screw with like if I, I can move enough pussy hunting at its best folks just like this because apparently if you hunt in a blind you're a pussy so uh whatever right we're on the uh, phone with comcast and we're gonna be recording this uh which i was already recording but um this is probably the what do you say the best representative we've ever had yeah this is good stuff um just let everyone know i'm supposed to be getting 200 over 15 that's what i'm getting so we're on uh, reset number two here with uh, Summer, the associate. Not sure if it's a guy or a girl yet. I haven't figured it out. Summer's a girl's name, though. But it sounds kind of like a guy. I don't know. Not from this country, I can tell you that. So, uh, let the wonders continue with Comcast. Closer? Yep. Gotcha, okay, sounds good. Okay, so, uh, I, can't, I really can't afford that you go on tonight with uh, having a slow internet speed. This is not what you deserve. You deserve uh, 200 megs because that's what you signed up for, and obviously, uh, it's the service that you, uh, you're paying for. Absolutely. So I just want to make sure that you're uh, properly compensated for that. Absolutely, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, if, we, if we don't get it fixed, we'll figure something out, but yeah, I appreciate your efforts. Thank you. The efforts will count sometimes, and they are, they, they talk, she talked about compensation. Sure, thank you for patiently waiting. So now, um, it went back on to, uh, uh -huh. 100%. Well, what lights do you see on your modem, sir? Uh, I see the three solid ones, and then the, uh, the next two down are blinking just like before. Uh, you want me to run a speed test? Yeah. Okay, one second. Yeah, it hasn't connected to the internet yet. It's still trying. Okay, let's give it at least two minutes. Okay. Anyway, how's your day so far? Yeah, I mean, it was good, and uh, now it's kind of uh, bumpy. How's yours? Uh, mine is, uh, it's doing great, and uh, it's almost weekend, so everyone's excited for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nope, I'm uh, was gonna sit at home and play video games, uh, honestly, but it uh, doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to with this internet. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry to hear that, sir, but hopefully it will get fixed tonight so that you'll enjoy the, uh, the games as you play tomorrow. Yeah, because you got the Call of Duty. Gotta, gotta get out there. Is that a new one? Yep, sure is. Wow, that's so sweet. I used to call it when I was young. Yeah? Yeah, gotcha. Uh, I'm, I, no. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a Final Fantasy thing. It's an RPG too. Oh, like Destiny? Uh, the, uh, the, no, 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 no. I thought it's not. Uh, it's like, it's like the one that, that the girl, like, the one that has a guitar. 
Uh, I don't know that one. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not too. Uh, it still says I'm Wi-Fi. It's still not connecting. Let me try. Let me try this real quick. Okay. Okay. not acceptable. You're not getting the the right amount of speed. The best thing that we can do to provide an immediate fix is to schedule you an appointment to get this right. And uh, this will resolve it once and for all, so that you will have to experience the same problem over again. Video game of a girl with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's just doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And if anything happens, how do I cancel that? Uh, you can cancel it by managing it online, or you can always give us a call, sir. Awesome. So I'm pretty much screwed until then. Sorry. So I'm uh, I'm pretty much screwed until then, right? Um, to be honest with you, sir, uh, I'm not going to use that word, but instead, you may have difficulties with your internet <laughs> until uh, Monday, but we'll definitely make sure that we'll get this monitored so that you don't have to, you know, experience it throughout until Monday. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See -bye. you the weekend. We'll Look how beautiful these things are. Check them out, guys. These are the new mirrors. Uh, I know I can't show you guys, although you can see, hi, how are you? Uh, I know you guys can't, like, see how light these are, but this one mirror right here I'm holding is lighter than this knife. So if that's a good comparison, there you go. It is very light. It doesn't weigh anything. It's also like a blue, so I think that's like an anti-reflective type of uh, thing here. Uh, and here's the mounts that cover, and then here's the stuff. So we're going to go put these on. For perspective purposes, this is what the car looks like with the big flagship mirrors on it now, the humongous mirrors. This is what it looks like. It looks awful. I hate it. I can't stand the Lotus mirrors. First part's pretty easy. I just got to take out this mirror. It's actually supposed to be held on with three screws. Unfortunately, my mirror was only held on with one. So, I only have one screw here, but I don't think I'll be reusing it. But, I'm afraid, this is, this is Lotus, I'm showing you guys. This is, this is Lotus for you. So you have the bolt in here, right? You have to hold it with an Allen key and hope to God that it doesn't fall. Because if it falls, it falls to the bottom of this door and you'll never get it again. So what we'll do is we'll push them through first, but actually, these don't look like these are gonna be long enough I think we are going to be short. The instructions said that there's a possibility that these are too short. And what it looks like is that these are going to be too short. That kind of blows. Okay, so after a bunch of troubleshooting, there we are. They're kind of dirty because they have my handprints all over them. But check them out. Look at them. God, they look so much better than my stock mirrors. What's weird is they actually overlap into my... Uh, my like um, my window area, which is really interesting. Uh, they're not exactly symmetrical because every Lotus is built differently, so they can't make them exactly symmetrical. So like I have this little gap right there that kind of irks me, but you won't see it. Uh, and actually, they focus on lining this line up. So with my windshield line, that's perfectly lined up, and that's what they focus on. The back part is built differently on every Lotus. And uh, you know, the same thing over here looks really good. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it. Um, just tighten down, it has a lock nut. Like I said, lines up perfectly with this line. Tiny little gap right there. But that one's a little more consistent one. This one looks a little better. But the moment y'all been waiting for, the front view, view, check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, look how much cleaner that looks, dude. It looks so much cleaner and so much smaller and so much better. Uh, hashtag weight reduction because it actually does lose. I think it's a, I think it's a pound of mirror uh, or something like that. Two pounds of mirror while doing this, using these because these are full carbon fiber. Um, I love the delete plates right here that delete all those screws. Looks absolutely phenomenal, and I love it. And it's carbon fiber, which is even better. It's a glossy carbon fiber. Um, which that carbon fiber is not, but I can always clear coat that. Now in the comments, guys, I, I'm actually generally curious. Can I carb? Can I clear coat that carbon fiber? Like I don't know anything about clear coating carbon fiber. I don't know. I, I don't know how it works. I, I mean, it's it's just carbon fiber. And that 
is what I have to tell you about Wednesday's video. All right, guys, we're gonna sum up this video here. I have great news for you. I am most likely going to have a hydro dipping video on Wednesday. We will get more details about that on Wednesday. Um, if you guys haven't already seen it, here's the mirrors. Again, I haven't even gone driving with them yet. Look at them, they look so nice, man. They look so good, like, like, I don't even know. Like, with these mirrors, like these ones over here, they look all girly, they like bubbly and girly and stuff. With these new ones, it just looks so much more aggressive. Like, ah! Hydro dipping, coming back Wednesday, hopefully, if everything goes as planned. Uh, Tuesday, I don't think I really have anything going on. And tomorrow, or today, I mean, uh, this video already be edited, so I should have plenty of time to get stuff painted. However, are working on some contingencies. God, I haven't been here so long. This is contingent that this gun is working. Uh, it has some type of alcohol in it, so it is okay. Gotta hope that the gun's working, and if the guns are working, then we're good to go. I might actually go to Harbor Freight tomorrow and get another one of these. That will help me out a lot. This is actually my paint gun down here, which, oh God, is probably gonna be all dry paint in there, which is not good. So we got some serious cleaning to do. So if my painting gun works, we are gonna hide your dipping back up going. I got two orders down here to do. We are gonna reopen orders up temporarily. Now when I say temporarily, I'm going to take a limited amount of orders until I can get a rhythm with orders and or, you know, winter break comes along. By the way, if you're worried about me not being able to hydro dip in the winter, my garage is heated. It is a heated garage, so I am perfectly fine for the winter. So I'm going to be taking a limited amount of orders. I will start Wednesday and it's going to be kind of first come first serve. And I'll take those orders, and when those orders are done, I'll release that I'm taking more orders. That's kind of how we'll do it, and that's kind of how we're gonna work it. Coming Wednesday, if you guys are looking forward to hydro dipping, let me know down in the comments down there. I'm gonna try to get some type of new rig set up here. You know, this is a new area. I haven't recorded here yet. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. Might try to get something working off this back wall right here. Not 100% sure. However, we are gonna get this back going. If you are excited for this, give me a call, yeah! Down in the comments. Right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was kind of all over the place. The rut is in season here in West Virginia. Just got confirmation of it by like four different people. So this weekend coming up, I'm gonna be hunting like three days in a row because it's Thanksgiving break for like 12 hours a day. And I, I think I'll like, I'll, I'll like vlog it. Also, I'm going on fourth prestige. I'm about to hit fourth prestige on Call of Duty World War II because I'm a nerd. By the time you're watching this, I almost have diamond guns. That's cool too. Okay, goodbye. I love you. Oh, we're going to turn off the light. Watch this. Ready? Ready? ready, ready. I'm not going to use my hand. God, I hope this works. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment on the video. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, maybe for some hydro dipping. Take it easy. Have a good one. And goodbye. I hope that works.